What's good? What's good? Welcome back to Investment Trade with Jax. Good morning from Canada, Polygonians. Matic is soaring. We've been absolutely crushing it. Uh, currently, we're sitting at 236. I think this is a little bit off. We're sitting, let me refresh this because we're actually sitting at about 232. Okay, so crypto.com seems to be having a little bit of a higher price. So it says 236, but we're at about 232. We're up about 18%. On the day, we're sitting a market cap of 16.24 billion. 24 hour volume, 3.48 billion. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're new to crypto.com, sign up to the world's fastest crypto growing app. Receive $25 just for signing up through my referral. You can grab one of the incredible Visa cards for cashback in crypto. Free Spotify, Netflix, Prime, travel incentives. They also have Crypto Earn with some of the best interest in the market. All right, guys, so let's hop over to Matic. So we came all the way up to 233, which was our next take profit zone. So another successful trade, guys. Uh, we got back in at 196. So that was a juicy trade opportunity of about 18%, 19%. Now you don't have to sell your whole position, use your own discretion. Um, personally, I did close my whole position. I'm going to wait to re-enter. That doesn't mean we're not gonna pump higher. It's always a possibility, guys. Um, but we have some confluence here of a possible retracement. Nothing in technical analysis is promised. You're going off the higher probabilities, but sometimes those get blown out of the water. Crypto, it's a crazy game. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take out some of my buy zones here. So I'm going to explain it a little bit as we go along. I'm going to keep 214 and 196. I'm gonna take out this buy zone at 182 because I'm using low leverage. So for every buy zone, I'm doubling my margin. So I don't wanna have 10, 20 buy zones because I'm gonna be running to the bank asking for a loan. <laughs> I don't want anyone using this strategy doing that either, All right guys? Remember, it's just for reference. It's not financial advice, so use your own discretion. I'm not your financial advisor. I'm just a young guy from canada all right guys winter here it's a blizzard <laughs> take me back to jamaica so we came up to 233 so i'm going to leave in 214 that was a take profit zone i flipped it over into a buy zone um 196 i'm going to leave in as well i took out the one that was sitting about 181 and I'll leave in 170, 150, 132. Now, the reason that I'm doing this is if we were to see a correction here, because we have reached the 1.618 from our previous swing high down to our swing low, we came right up to the 1.618. And in many cases, not always, but in many cases, when you reach the 1.618, you're going to see a retracement before continuation, all right, guys? So I've left in two, or sorry guys, 214 and 196. And if we hit both those buy zones, brings your average price down to about 205. And the reason I did that is because it lines up with the 0.786 on the Fibonacci and this previous swing high. So that does give us a good opportunity to bounce. However, if we were to retrace lower, that's why I have buy zones all the way down to 132. I have one at 170, 150, 132. And if we look from the previous price all the way down to 132, that's a 42% drop. And then I have these buy zones down here just in case, but I always wanna be ready for a 30 to 50% drop at any time. Now, now the beautiful thing about crypto and about this strategy is it works in waveforms. It doesn't just go down, you know, 80, 90%. We can go back to our crash here. Let me actually show you guys. Over the summertime, we had that major correction. So if you're used, you can use the strategy in a bear market, it works perfectly well. So you can see we topped out. So let's say you had a buy zone right here. You had a buy zone right here. You had a buy zone right here. So I'm gonna open this up so it's more visible. So if you hit all those buy zones, you bring, let's say your average price is now sitting at about $1.57 and it wicked down. You would have hit more buy zones for sure. So it would have brought your average price down even more. And then you shot right back up. So if it hit all those buy zones, let's say your average price is actually down here at about 141, cause you basically, you hit all your buy zones. So we'll see how much of a drop this was from the top down to see, see guys, you're looking at a 57% drop, but we didn't have a buy zone up here. We had them a little bit lower down. So let's say your average price is sitting at about $1.48 and then you see this big green candle. So this is your push back up. So here you sell, you sell in profits. Now you set all your buy zones again. So you have buy zones 40 to 50% down. 
And this is why I use low leverage. In a bear market, I'll only use like two, 2.5. So my lick price, every time it hits a buy zone, it's dropping 50% at least. So your lick price is gonna be way under, even if it wicks all the way down here, your lick price is going to be way under the current price. So you'll never be liquidated. So you have buy zones and you start hitting your buy zones. You hit your buy zones, you hit your buy zones. Let's say your average price is 182. So boom, you see this huge pump to the upside, you sell. You reset your buy zones, buy zone, buy zone on buy zone you see a pump you sell buy zone buy zone buy zone you see a pump you sell so basically it's a no fail strategy you don't have to worry about getting liquidated if you're using 2x 2 to 3x leverage now i use 3x when we're in a bull run um, just to get a little bit of higher return because i'm not afraid of the price dropping because even when you're using 3x every time you hit your buy zone it's dropping your lick price right but in a bear market i only use 2 or 2.5 because it just helps me sleep better at night. All right, guys, so <laughs> let's get back to where we were here. So if we were to see a retracement, we could bounce off 206. Of course, that's a possibility. That's why I have a buy zone here at 214, 196, bringing my average price down to one uh, about 205. If we come down to 170, my average price is coming down to about 191. We come down to 150, my average price is probably gonna come down to about 179, and I'm ready to ride the slingshot back up. All right, guys, <laughs> Lord, a little bit long window. I'm just going to drink some water. I don't like to make my videos too long here. But I know many of you are now using this strategy with me. Uh, so I don't want to steer you astray, you know. <laughs> so if we do see continuation, guys, our next tick profit zone is all the way up here at 261. We, of course, will see a retracement eventually. But I'm going to show you guys here when we were pumping back in April, May, March, Look here, guys. So I'm going to show you guys. This was all the way back in April. So check out this pump, guys. This is a massive pump. Look at this pump right here. 138%. And your retracement wasn't even that big. If we go from the swing high down to the swing low, you're at about a 27, 20, about a 25% retracement. So if your buy zones are too low down, you're not even gonna get triggered in. That's why sometimes you'll see my buy zones aren't too far away from the current price. It depends where the market's at. Sometimes I'll place my buy zones lower. If I think we're gonna have a big drop, then I'll place lower buy zones. So my first entry already brings me down quite a bit. But if you see that pump, you know, over 100% pump. And if you look at this pump right here, you can see we had some buying, buying, selling, and then we just absolutely pumped. So this was a pump of 137%. So you don't wanna be left behind on those pumps, guys, in my opinion. All right, guys, let's kind of get back to the technical analysis here. So we're sitting at 236, wow, 237. We're having a nice little push here. We are trending into overbought, guys. You can see on the four hour, we're quite overbought. Let's look at the hourly time frame. Yeah, we're trending into overbought on the hourly as well. So I would expect a move down sooner than later. That doesn't mean we won't push all the way up to 261. It's a possibility, guys, but if we look at the shorts, we can see shorts have been increasing, increasing, increasing. But the thing about a bull run, the thing about a bull cycle when you're really pumping, sometimes it just blows your technical analysis out of the water, right? So sometimes you don't wanna sell your whole position you'll let the rest ride at 261. And then if it rolls over, well, you entered at 196, right? So you could add to your position at 214, comes down to 196, you can add again, comes down to 170. You're still absolutely fine because your first buy zone was at 214 anyways, all right, guys? It's a beautiful strategy. I've been crushing it <laughs> using this strategy. It's been incredible. I think I'll use it for the rest of my days. <laughs> all right, guys, so let's get into the nitty gritty here on the daily. So you can see we broke out of our descending channel we already met the target we're seeing continuation we have our bull flag let me open this up you can see we have a bull flag here and your targets up at 256 this could also be a bit of a bull flag but i think your target would probably just bring you up to the previous all-time high pretty close so, yeah, so bring it up to the two extension was at about 261 and then we have some sort of ascending triangle cup and handle pattern here. Your target is up at 281, previous all-time high. And of course, this major falling wedge. So everything's coming to fruition. All the predictions basically that we've had on the channel are coming true. Now, it's not that difficult. You know, when you know technical analysis, you could turn on a camera with a microphone and, and make the exact same videos, you know. <laughs> we've had the bullish cross that we've been talking about. So I keep a close eye on the MACD. We see the bullish cross. We're going to see our next impulsive wave. And that's exactly what we're seeing here. Now this chart is a little bit off. It's 
previous all-time highs about 274 279 it's pretty close guys i was going to use a different chart but it's not that far off all right so we bounce beautifully off our trend line we bounce beautifully off the emas here's our trend line right here i said watch this trend line gives us a good opportunity to bounce back up to the upside and um we went through our abc correction and we're seeing our next impulsive wave and our next impulsive wave target swing high swing low is all the way up at about 282 now i would expect us to find some major resistance around that level because it lines up with the previous all-time high for matic but super exciting times guys i think it's important to not only have a big juicy bag of matic but to also trade sometimes i get some commenters and they're like oh you're stopping it from pumping with your trading yeah well hundreds of thousands of people are trading matic okay so just chill out so i think it's cool to have a bag that you're investing in, you know a little hodl and then to trade as well in my opinion i mean to each their own all right guys but with our dollar cost average strategy you can be at work you can be at the beach you can you know be making love to your woman or to your man and you can still be trading right so now this video is getting way too long so we have our bore on target 677 we have the two extension at 1181 and uh the 2.272 at 1767 but right now our bore on target is here at the 1.618 at 677 for matic i was going to jump into ethereum maybe we'll quickly do ethereum as well so you can see we broke out of this triple bottom pattern. We back tested the neckline of support. And currently we're sitting, seeing continuation. We are hitting some resistance here at 4631. And then if we pop over to the daily time frame, we're still looking good, guys. We've had the bullish cross and we're back above 4416. So as long as we hold the EMAs as support, we're looking good for continuation. Now, if we do roll over, we have our trend line. See this trend line of support? beautiful bounce right here we came up we saw a beautiful bounce so if we roll a little bit i would expect us to continue to hold this trend line and bounce our way up to five seven three one and our bull run targets for ethereum eight zero one four and eleven thirty seven just keep an eye on the fact that we have reached the 1.618 we are pushing a little bit above it right now so if we do see a retracement you can reset your buy zones 214 196 dollar 70 150 132 of course use your own discretion if you want to use different buy zones totally up to you it's just for reference it's not financial advice all right this video is way too long so i'm going to end it uh shout out to the discord guys let me quickly open that up we have over 1,000 members we're talking all things crypto uh we're posting chart patterns we're posting technical analysis all types of goodies guys and um it's the price of a coffee you can sign up through the patreon it's also a great way to support the channel if you'd like to oh we got screwed <laughs> we have one guy king of shorts he's shorting um bitcoin 125x leverage absolutely insane i would never ever do that but to each their own guys all right i'll see you in the next video much love take care